As our group stopped on the side of the road one afternoon to learn about high crosses, I saw school-aged children walking down the streets. This normal occurrence triggered personal thoughts and one key question for the remainder of my time in Ireland. Having ancestors who immigrated to the United States from Ireland five generations ago, I wondered to myself, what if I had been born and raised in Ireland? And when I stopped to think about it, I realized that it wouldn't have been so bad to grow up in a country other than the United States. There were countless cafes with copious amounts of coffee and pastries that would have been easily accessible had I been raised in Dublin. There were pubs with consistently above average music performances that I likely would have visited often with my parents and siblings. Another thing I would expect if I grew up in Ireland would be a lack of ability to speak the Gaelic language. Though the language is taught to all students grades K through 12, it is not primarily spoken among Irish citizens as a first language. One evening, I met a local woman at a pub and I inquired about her opinions of the language. In short, she explained that very few teachers speak the language fluently. Due to the lack of teachers speaking the language fluently, students rarely continue to speak the language after their encounters with it in primary and secondary education. Another point of interest in my education in Ireland is that I would have worn a uniform, which is not something that was required of me when I attended public primary and secondary schools in the United States. Lastly, if I had been raised an Irish citizen, I would have grown up with general knowledge of historical figures such as the burial tombs at Newgrange, the Hill of Tara, Glendalough, the Book of Kells, and St. Stephen's Green. While walking around St. Stephen's Green one afternoon, I was able to observe what my typical interactions may have looked like. When I was a younger child, I could have strengthened relationships with my parents through feeding the geese with them. As an older child, I would have likely socialized by sitting and conversing in small groups of two or three. Through my observations during the week of what being born and raised in Ireland could have looked like for me personally, I realized that growing up somewhere other than the United States would not have necessarily been bad, it just would have been different.